In this video, we're going to take a look at how the survey point and the project base point can be used to establish the model's real world position. We're also going to take a look at how we can publish that position and those coordinates to models that we have linked into our project. The first thing we need to do is we need to link in a CAD file, typically something of a survey or from a civil engineer that we can use to establish those points. So we'll go to insert, link CAD. I'll pick the site topo file. And what I want to do is I'm going to leave this as auto center to center. And I'll leave the colors as preserve. Click open. And now I have a model linked in to my site plan here. From here, I'm going to go to the manage tab. And under coordinates, I have a few options. We can acquire, publish, or we can specify the specific points or we can even check the coordinates of, a, of elements with linked CAD files. In this case, we want to acquire the coordinates from the CAD file. What this is going to do is it's going to acquire that uh, zero, 00 point for our survey point for this model, and it'll allow me to align the two with the global coordinates. So I'll select the CAD link. You can see that the survey point goes to the corner of the site, and the project base point stays in the same location. What I need to do now is I need to set my orientation or angle to true north to match, but I want to make sure my orientation is set to true north for the site plan view. And in this case, that angle to true north is going to be 35 degrees. You can see they align. Now, these two don't align uh, perfectly at this point because of the way that I imported in the CAD file. So at the, right now, what I need to do is just go ahead and move my survey point so that it matches my Revit model. And then I can go ahead and using the unclip option for my project base point, I can move it to something that makes a little bit more sense. So during, you know, with the project, it'd be difficult for me to say, the project base point is at the center of the middle of the building kind of thing. It doesn't really work out, but if I pick a corner that might be a grid intersection, that's a lot easier to communicate. So I want to unclip this so that I can essentially break the relationship between the survey point and the project base point. And I'll go ahead and move the project base point from its arbitrary location to the corner of the building here. After I've made that move, I'll go ahead and reclip it. Now I can go ahead and I can link a model if I didn't have one already, but we'll go ahead and do it again. Insert, Revit link. I'll just grab this structural model. And now that I have the structural model imported, what I could do is I can go through the same process, but instead of acquire coordinates, I could use publish coordinates. And that'll publish the coordinates that we have set in our architectural model to the structural model. That way we're now all using the same coordinate system and the building is located um, on the planet instead of just being at, at an arbitrary location.